guys, my name is Sydney Poitier and today we are adding to my kawaii animal collection and creating Pablo the giraffe. He is cute, he is fluffy, and he will steal your girl. So let's get started. Now to create Pablo the giraffe, I'm starting with my PVC pipe system. For his body, I'm just using two three inch half dome cakes with some buttercream in the middle. A support system and because Pablo has a long neck, I'm not putting the support system all the way down. I'm leaving a little bit of room so that we can give him that nice long direct, direct giraffe neck. Direct. You guys might not know this, but my second job is working for uh, the dictionary company. Myr myriad. Myr Murad. I wanted him to have a long face, so that's why I'm adding some support and then using an egg shape cake to create his face. It's like too long though, so I'm gonna have to cut it down. Now, one of the things that I've learned about Pablo the giraffe is that he likes Katy Perry. Isn't that crazy? A giraffe listening to music? It's true though, they love music. Sounds crazy. Completely true though. I'm shaving down just a little bit. I wanted his head to be a little bit smaller And then I gave my entire cake a crumb coat I placed this cake into the fridge for about 30 minutes and I started to watch some Netflix I binge watched the entire season of Orange is the New Black. Actually, I was watching it while I was making this entire cake I cried. I cried twice I think the last two episodes made me cry. There's just so much character development with two characters that I've grown really fond of over the last six, seven seasons. So when they start to wrap up storylines, it, I was bawling. Now, if you have seen Orange is the New Black, what do you think? Did you like it? Are you old enough to watch it? If not, there's Rocco's Modern Life on it, on Netflix, so go watch that. Now, my favorite part about these cakes is creating the legs. Legs are usually super hard, but because these are basic like animal shapes, you're just going to use things that you can buy at the store. Usually I use Twinkies, but I decided to use Rice Krispie treats for these. You know, he's got hooves, but I thought that the hooves should be more square, which is why I didn't use Twinkies because Twinkies are rounded at the end. I'm just using a Wilton star tip to create this fluffy texture. I love the way this looks. You can use the grass tip to make it look like fur, but this looks like a plush doll. And a lot of you said that about the lion, the tiger, and the bear. Oh, you haven't seen that episode? Well, check out this video where I use the exact same techniques to create a very cute lion, a very cute tiger, and Bertha the bear. I love this texture. It really does remind me of a really cute fluffy toy. And then I'm adding more of his features with some fondant. Here's a fun fact about giraffes. Did you know that they like apples? That's what it says on, on the, uh, the Google website. They love apples. It helps with their digestive, digest, digestive systems as well. And it also tastes good in Waldorf salads. Have you ever had that? It's very fancy, super good. I love walnuts. Now most of its features I created with pieces of fondant, but this is pretty much a buttercream cake. Probably like 75% of it is buttercream, 85, maybe 90. I'm using the fondant very sparingly to create his features. Voila, Pablo the giraffe is complete. Wow, I'm impressed. He looks cute, super cute. Now Pablo is one of many animals that I'll be creating this year. And I'm curious, what animal would you like to see me make next? I got a sloth coming because you guys already asked for it. So don't write sloth. Okay, it's coming. He's coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.